Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about installing your Ample Guitar M Light 2. So for a brief introduction, this plugin is a uh, quite a powerful plugin, but it's free. So you can use it for a lot of DAWs, but for myself I'm using it for Ableton Live. So you can see the my past demo or a video of my past demo in the you can see the link in the description below so you can see there how I used it before and how I'm using it still uh, so the installation of this software is quite simple so first uh, you have to go into this um, website plugin boutique dot com and then you would uh, okay for first you will see this website then you have to first you will see this website and then you have to go to free instruments virtual instrument and then you would see your ample guitar M light 2 here so if you would click that just click add to my downloads okay but first you have to um, you have to log in so okay I will just log in for you please give me a moment so after logging in you go again to free instruments virtual instrument and then look for ample M light and then download okay so there's another free plugin that always go with this um, ample guitar M light which is the ample bass but I will discuss this in my future video so you just download okay so for me I'm using a MacBook Pro with a Monterey iOS uh, with an M1 chip for the laptop itself so you would download this DMG file and then you just click on this DMG file okay so I will not show you how to um, install this so you just click OK then you just continue or follow the installation instructions okay because for myself I have already installed it in my MacBook and then um, so the most important thing is you that you have to take note is that you have to create your um, account for plugin boutique before you can download any of those free uh, software that they have hmm. so after installing so uh, just another note um, when you're installing right there are some videos that say you have to put it into another location or um, folder that you wish to put it your library or whatever but for me I will just follow the instructions the installation sequence because the last time I moved the library from forth to another location because of storage issues when I was using Windows um, the ample M light was not able to detect the library so because of that I just follow the installation instruction and then uh, the thing worked so uh, yes it's up to you if you have time to really figure it out how to properly place it into another location then please free to do please feel free to do that but if you are uh, for example um, you don't want to figure this out and you do you are wishing that you don't have those issues upon installation then you just follow the installation sequence so again the plugin will be placed in the location where you're able time able to live will be able to locate it so again you just go to your 
preferences and then go to plugins and then you just have to rescan just click this button then Ableton Live will just look where your plugin is or where your new plugin is uh, where is it uh, located then it will just automatically capture it and then again if you are you just click this plugin then you will find your acoustic guitar M Light 2 here so for just a quick um, or a brief demonstration of this one no sorry you need a MIDI track so you just need a MIDI track then drag this thing here So we get back here so this is the window of your ample guitar m light 2 plugin so again you can use your sorry so again you can use your keyboards So you can hear that we have so many things that you can do here. You can play like a real guitar. It sounds very crisp. The sound is very nice. So again, I think that's all for the installation. On my next video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to use this Ample Guitar M Light. Okay, that's all for today if you like this video please click like then if you would like to see my other videos then you click subscribe again thank you so much have a good day bye